What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, I'm doing a QA exposing myself. You feel what I'm saying? Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but aren't subscribed. Go to hit that subscribe button, it helps support the channel. Also, guys, I really do appreciate 5K subscribers, man. We are on the road to 10K, man. I really do appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I got y'all, man. Y'all been showing me so much love, and I really do appreciate that. Now, before we start this video, guys, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. You feel me? My perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing. And if you're not growing, I don't know what you're doing. Also, guys, I love hearing the comments, the stories. You guys are such a big inspiration. You guys motivate me to keep going every single day, and I hope I'm doing the same for you guys. You feel me? Uh, comment down below what you guys, you know, if you guys um, don't agree with what I'm saying, even though it's a Q and A, you know, I'm understanding. I'm understanding. You got an open mind. You feel me? Now I do have these questions on my uh, computer um, because I'm shooting off my phone. You feel me? So I'm just gonna go in order or go in go in a row and just answer these questions the best I know. You feel me? And I'm gonna do it truthfully too, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna just do it truthfully and, and see where it go from there. You feel me? All right. First question. Simple. We're gonna start it off light. Uh, BBY Blue. Yeah. Where are you from? Um, I am from. I was born in Detroit, Michigan, uh, but I am raised in Dallas, Texas. I was raised in Dallas, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Triple D. You feel me? Um, Dallas, Dallas is, is, it's what made me, man. It's what made me. You feel me? All the people that I've seen, all the, the all the places that I've been, all it's just it's crazy how like a city can really make a person. It's crazy how a city can really make a person. I'm happy that I wasn't in Detroit because there's nothing there for me, uh, and I'm happy that my parents moved me away and moved me towards a city where I would actually have opportunity to grow and 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 do something with my life. You feel me? Because uh, Detroit is just. It's a wasteland, you feel me? They don't got nothing down there but General Motors and shoot, what else? I don't even know what else you could think of down there. In Detroit, we're talking about Detroit. We're not talking about Lansing, we're talking about Detroit. You feel me? Uh, so the next question, we're gonna answer it from uh, Royal Blue, the goddess. What is your favorite color? You feel me? We start off light. Uh, my favorite color is green. Green is my favorite color. I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't know how you can explain why it's your favorite color. It just looks appealing to me. You feel me? I was always, you know, attracted towards green. Green is just, it looks good. It looks good on me. Whenever I wear the color green, it looks good on me. You feel me? And I was always outside. I was always in nature. I always played sports. And, you know, it was just, green just looks good. I don't know how you can really explain why it's your favorite color. But, you know, it's just, it's, I'm attracted to green. I'm attracted to it. And it just looks good. And that's why it's my favorite color. You feel me? All right. So this next question is from Maribel Lamas. She said, how did you have the courage to go online and spread the word? Uh, I have always thought about starting a YouTube channel for some reason. Something in my mind seems to hold me back. How do you overcome negative thoughts and just do it? Uh, Maribel, you honestly just got to have that fuck it mentality. You just got to say fuck it. You just gotta go out there and do it. You feel me? My very first video I made, I made it and it was like a, just a vlog or it was a prank video on my mom. And I did it and it took me a while, you know, to get back out here. And I realized like, that's not really what I wanted to do. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I didn't wanna just do pranks. Uh, now vlogging, I would probably do, but I, I didn't, I didn't, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't wanna make prank videos because that's not the way I wanted. I wanted to like actually inspire somebody and do something. You feel me? And I was on my spiritual journey and I had just started it um, maybe two years before. And I just want to talk to people and motivate people. You feel me? But honestly, you got to get out of your head. You got to get out of your head and just do it. Because once you do it, you take that leap of faith. I guarantee you, you won't stop. Once you get that, that, mom that momentum, you won't stop. So just do it. Don't care about what other people think of you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have haters either way. You're going to have people mocking you. Just do it. You're going to have more supporters than you are haters, than you do have, have haters. All right. So just do it. Don't, don't just do it. Just post your first video and just keep going from there. You feel me? All right. The next question is, um, oh, BBY, 
Blue also asked me another question. He said, what are some synchronicities that you experienced lately? Uh, lately? Uh, I've been seeing the, the angel numbers 333. The angel numbers 444 lately. And um, I, all I know is, is, I know it's the angels talking to me. I know it's the angels talking to me, you know, trying to communicate with me. Let me know to just keep going, uh, stay on my path, you know, because it's very easy to get off your path and, and, and go back to your old habits. Uh, but that's, that's what I've really been, you know, experiencing. Also, I've been waking up like around three o'clock, three or five o'clock, you know, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure that's when the, the angels are, are, are most active, you know? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Those are, those are some synchronicities that I've been experiencing lately. lately. Um, jazz me down. What inspires you to share your wisdom so boldly in a way that you would allow, uh, that I would allow it to reach the masses? Jazz me down. Good question. Um, what inspired me to do it? A lot of people, a lot of people have no one to go to, right? A lot of people have no one to go to. And I was at one point where I didn't want to talk to nobody about what it was that I was going through in life. You know, the depression, the, you know, just the anxiety, all that, you know, it was at one point I couldn't even talk to my mom about it. You know, my parents about it. I still, I still have trouble sometimes to this day. You feel me? But I'm more open about it, talking about, you know, you know, my life. You feel me? So if I can get on here and I can get on the YouTube or whatever, Twitch or whatever platform, and I can inspire somebody to go chase their dreams and talk about my life story and, and try to motivate somebody to, to, to go get it, then so be it. You feel me? A lot of people don't have anybody to go talk to. And, I'm, and, I, and it's not so much about being bold, it's just that I don't care what people think of me. You feel me? So being bold is like, you know, I, I just don't care what people think of me. They're going to they gonna have the people that I know and, you know, in, in IRL, the people that I know in, in, in life that are closest to me, they still judge me. For I don't, And I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what people think of me. You know, they're going to make fun. But when they see that you starting to do something with your life and that you bossing up, they'll come around you feel me so that's why that's I'm, I'm comfortable with myself i'm you know people people really rock with you if you're comfortable with yourself and when you um when you really speak in real and you're not trying to be something that you're not when you're yourself people rock with you so i don't have I don't, like i said i'm comfortable I, I, it's not about i don't care what people think and so be it you feel me uh bear s love your videos thank you i really do appreciate that what are some ascension signs you're experiencing at this time? The energies are rapidly shifting and I would love to see how your body is undergoing these changes. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Recently, like this whole week, uh, I was not feeling good. My energy was low and I had to take the time out from certain people and certain, you know, um, just individuals because my energy was just, it was shot, you know, and I had to recharge. Um, I would say maybe in November, December, it's, the energy's been shifted to the 5D you know, dimension for a minute. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's been for a minute. But with me meditating, with me taking care of my body, eat, putting the right foods in myself and my body, uh, like I said, I was having migraines. Um, my sleeps were just all like all over the place and like they are right now. I'm not going to lie to you. My sleeps have been wonky, bro. I can't believe I just used the word wonky. But I, at one point, I couldn't even sleep for a while. I couldn't sleep and my whole sleeping schedule just flipped upside down pretty much but those are some those are some signs my body has been going through it i'm not gonna lie to you my soul you know i get to sleep and i just wake up still tired and i'm like i don't know what to do you feel me uh but yeah uh amanda g who was your biggest inspiration to get you to this point in your life um I have a couple of people that inspired me. That was a very good question. Very good question, Amanda. She also said, you're amazing and so enlightened. Stand proud. Thank you. Much love, uh, Amanda G. Um, I have a couple people, you know, but I'm gonna mention uh, my mom and my dad because why not? You feel me? Those are the two biggest inspirations in my life. You feel me? Even though they were good and there was bad, you know, nobody's perfect in this life. Nobody's perfect, you feel me? So the good and the bad made me the person that I am today. My mom showed me how to like give love and 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 
express, you know, express myself a little bit. And, and shoot, she taught me how to go get it too. I'm going to be honest with you. She taught me how to get it. You feel me? My dad taught me how to be a man. He taught me how to, you know, he taught me how to be a man. You know, everything that comes with it. You feel me? And like I said, there was good, there was good, and there was bad. And 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 both of my parents showed me what I wanted out of my own life. Showed me how I wanted to treat my kids. Showed me how to, you know, what I wanted from my relationship with my woman. You know, so both of those people were big inspirations to me. And um, I think that's why people rock with me right now. You know, my parents are real, and I'm real myself. I ain't got to, they don't put on the act. They who they are. You feel me? Uh, the next question is from Jay. How do you make income and how long did it take? Uh, how do I make income? For one, social media. Social media, you can make money off of it. You know, you can make money off of it. It's very easy to make you money off of YouTube. YouTube is a very easy platform. All you have to do is just reach a thousand subscribers um, and reach a thousand watch time hours and then you can monetize your channel. You just gotta be consistent, you feel me? Also, another thing is investing. You gotta invest, investing, you feel me? You gotta put some money up and invest. You know, it's too much, it's too much right now to, to just, to, to, to go invest. You know what I'm saying? Too much money out here. Also, another thing that I've been working on that I really want to work on is, is flipping houses, guys. Jay, I really want to, I, I want to be able to flip houses. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's real good, you know, um, um, income in that. You feel me? I want to set myself up for, you know, to where I don't have to worry about anything. You feel me? So right now I'm working on a couple things. It's a, it's a lot more things that I want to talk to you guys about, but I'm keeping it on the back burner because I don't, I don't like talking about the things that I plan on doing. But I think if you guys watch some of my videos in the past, I'll talk about it. Um, but let's just say one thing is, is start my own gym and from then on and then on, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, put six months into whatever it is that you want to do, whatever business that you're trying to get into, and I guarantee you'll make some money out of it. Put six months into it. You feel me? It only takes six months, bro. And then after that, it's up from there. You feel me? Now, I got some questions on uh, Instagram that you guys just sent me. A couple people sent me. Um, one question mentioned... Um, this is probably the question that you guys have all been waiting for, you know, and some of you guys probably don't care at all. But uh, one of the questions said, are you single? And guys, yes, I'm single right now. I'm, I'm worried about myself right now. I'm gonna be honest, I'm selfish right now. Um, I'm not really looking for a relationship. I'm not, who's, not to say that if it comes, it comes. But right now, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm trying to get myself together. You feel me? I got to get myself together first so that when I do get into a relationship, you know, I can actually provide for that person and 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 do things with that person and not have to worry about checks and money and just making sure that I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that I love myself first before I can go and love somebody else, you know? Uh, and I feel like I do. I feel like I love myself. But right now, like on the business side of things, I'm not ready, you know? But who's to say? If it comes, it comes. I'm not going to turn it down. I'm going to catch that blessing. Best believe I'm gonna catch that blessing. So if the right person comes, you know what I'm saying? She's she's uh, goal orientated and uh, she has, you know, some dreams, then best believe I'll be ready for it. Like I told you guys, if, if I got goals and aspirations. If, if she got goals and aspirations and we click like that, then, you know, so be it. So be it, you feel me? I'm not gonna block a blessing. You know, if we, if we vibe and, and we cooling, but right now, I'm not going out there. I'm, I'm not looking. But if it comes, it comes. You feel me? Um, another question is, what is your biggest fear? That's easy. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know why I to think about that. My biggest, my biggest fear is not being successful in all aspects. You feel me? Uh, my biggest fear is not being able to, you know be successful and be able to just set myself up to where I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, my biggest fear is, shoot, you know, overall, like I said, just not being successful. And that means not loving myself successfully, you know, taking care of myself like I'm supposed to, um, not set myself up for, you know, to where I don't have to worry about anything in this, in this 
you know, three dimensional world, you know, um, and also not being the man that I sought out to be. You feel me? I always I told myself that, you know, I, I look at my dad and, you know, he was he's a great man. You feel me? But he did make mistakes. And I and I, it's certain things that I just don't want to make mistakes in when it comes down to my family. I want to be the best husband that I can possibly be when it's my time and um, make sure that my kids are, are set and well to do. You feel me? Like I said, I'm everything I'm doing right now is for my kids. Yeah, I want to, you know, be successful and I don't want to have to worry about things. And but for my kids, you know, what I'm saying they got to live behind me and I don't want to bring no kid. I don't want to bring my kids into the world where they got to struggle like I like my parents you know what I'm saying? Kind of did and like I did. You feel me? So that's my biggest fear is being successful all around, man. I want to be the best husband I can possibly be, the best spouse, be successful in, in, in all aspects and make sure that I'm taking care of myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. You feel me? I think that's it for the Q&As, guys. I really do appreciate 5K subscribers, guys. Let me know if you guys rock with this Q&A. Let me know if you guys want to do more Q&As. I do have story times if you guys want to do that too. You feel me? You guys been rocking with me, and I really do appreciate that, man. Let's try to get 33 likes on this video. Y'all been smashing it, and I really do appreciate that. Once again, guys, I really do appreciate 5K subscribers, guys. We are going to do two giveaways, two cash out giveaways, because that's what you guys wanted to do. We on the road to 10K subscribers, man. Once again, guys, I got the pranks. I got the vlogs. I got what you need. All you need to do is subscribe to me. I'm out of here, man. Peace.